Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to sit down and uh, do a few things. I've been trying a new product called the Whoop Strap. Uh, I'll show you some analytics of that later. Uh, I've only about five days in. Uh, we've been looking at sleep, it looks at sleep quality, looks at how much strain daily and workouts you can provide looks at heart rate variability and a couple of other metrics. I'm still learning a little bit about it, trying to figure out how to push myself harder in the gym. The most I've gotten is 163 beats per minute. That's the, been the highest. And then my sleep was recorded as low as a resting heart rate of 39. One night when I was sleeping, I know I can go lower than that, but sleep the last few nights has been, I felt like pretty bad, but I've gotten like a 92 or 93% uh, average so far. But my main thing today is I walked into my local vitamin shop and found a new product. It's the Keto Cookie from Lenny, Lenny and Larry's. And I'm not a huge uh, product guy as far as a ketogenic diet. As most of you know, I've been keto for about over about a year and a half. My biggest thing is using whole foods uh, to try to shape your ketogenic diet, uh, whether it's strict, clean, uh, targeted, whatever, I think you're better off trying to get to that level of uh, metabolism with whole foods rather than using supplements on a regular basis. I started out that journey using a lot of different things, using a lot of different replacements, uh, but I've learned so much more as far as how to stay ketogenic, how to eat and still hit my fat and my uh, proteins, keeping my carbs super low. And I've been feeling great. It's been easy. We went on a vacation in the beginning of October and uh, I was at my in-laws and still did pretty good while I was out there. So wanted to talk about this because you see a lot of keto products that hit the market. Lenny and Larry's has got a uh, protein cooking. I'm not sponsored by them. This is just a review not sponsored by vitamin shop uh, I give them far too much money to even think that I'm getting sponsored by them so uh, with Lenny and Larry's they are vegan approved they are non GMO uh, they say they're plant-based so they're not necessarily what I advocate um, I'm not a huge fan of plant-based products I don't think that you really absorb the protein the way you think you do so for example, this has eight grams of protein in it. I don't think you're going to actually absorb eight grams of protein. That's mostly gonna be wrapped up in the fiber of the uh, plants. And so unfortunately, we don't have the bacteria in our colon to di digest all of that. Uh, so again, if you're in a pinch, you need a snack, you know, there are different options out there. And then this is just a new one. And because Lenny and Larry are so popular for their protein cookies, their big ones, and their little uh, crunchy cookies, I wanted to at least put this out there for people to take a look at. Uh, first off, just looking at it, this is the peanut butter one. They have a chocolate chip and a coconut. I won't test the coconut. I don't like coconut. Uh, I'll try the chocolate chip probably tomorrow. This is a peanut butter. I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter products unless it's just straight out of the jar. Uh, so we're going to give this a try. A few things I've noticed on it, the cookie, it's grain-free, gluten-free, 8 grams of protein, 3 net carbs. We'll talk about that in a second. 5 grams of fiber. There's no egg, no soy, no dairy, no GMO. Non-GMO, it's no high fru fructose corn syrup, which is good. No artificial sweeteners. Uh, and it says it's made out of sustainable palm oil. Palm oil is actually not bad for you. If you sort of look at the ingredients that are on here, it starts with grain-free flour. If the flour is a lupin flour or peanut flour. Lupin is made from a bean. Organic erythritol, peanut butter, which is from roasted peanuts, coconut oil, palm fruit oil, chicory root fiber, pea protein, that I have an issue with, peanuts, sunflower lichen, Vegetable glycerin, natural flavors, anthem gum, baking soda, uh, gum, acacia, 
uh, stevoside, which is a stevia extract, and then uh, mixed uh, tocophorus. So not necessarily a lot of weird or bad ingredients, but it still is plant-based. Uh, Quest cookies are whey protein based, so they're a little bit bigger, better as far as my opinion is concerned. That's my opinion, but uh, they also are kind of higher on the carbs. So one cookie is 190 calories. So it's 15 grams of fat. It's good. Six of which are from saturated. The total carbohydrates, and this is where you know some things get questionable. Uh, 15 carbohydrates, five of which are dietary fiber, and then seven are your sugar alcohols. So if you're counting your total carbs for the day and you're trying to keep under 30, that's half your carbs for the day. Uh, me, I float between 30 and 50. I'm a bigger guy. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm already in ketosis. I'm already fat adapted, so I can do that. Um, but if you're trying to stay under 30, Total carbs, this is going to blow you out of the water a little bit. Just keep that in mind. So they say it's three net carbs. So that's because they add the dietary fiber and the sugar alcohol together. That's 12. Give you three net carbs. Uh, again, you need to know how you react to your erythritol and stevia before you really look at any of that. And then and again, it says eight grams of protein. So we'll, let's open this up and give it a try. Now, I am doing this a few hours before my workout. Uh, today is some Olympic lifting with some bike intervals, so uh, whatever carbohydrates I eat, it's gonna be burned up pretty fast in my workout today. So, uh, still eating carbohydrates or whatever carbohydrates I eat around my workout. All right, so it's super dry. It's not moist like there are other cookies. It is dry. The texture is a little grainy, but it's not bad. And the overall taste, it's not terrible. It's a peanut butter cookie. That's not my favorite. So if I had to have a snack, if I had to have a cookie, this isn't a bad alternative. I actually think I like this a little bit better than some of the Quest cookies, especially for what you get as far as you, the macro breakdown is concerned. Carbohydrates weigh less than the Quest cookies. So this is actually not bad. I don't remember what I paid for it. I think it's doable. You know, you've got twice as many calories from fat as you do from anything else. So that's going to be pretty good as far as, you know, being keto. It is more keto than, you know, any of their other products. So if you're looking for something, I think this might work. Especially if you like the taste. I think it's okay. I'm looking forward more towards the chocolate chip one tomorrow. So that's my thought on the Lenny and Larry's new keto cooking. Uh, place your comments below if you have any. Otherwise, I will see you uh, next time for a more in-depth review and look at my whoop strap. Have a good one.